uh, on my way to prison to that facility, I was beaten in a jeep, in the back of a jeep, by three Israeli soldiers, almost to death. And in that facility, I was forced to stay awake for uh, several days and nights without sleep. Uh, uh, they shake me uh, till I w passed out, and uh, uh, the food was very bad. The music was, uh, was very loud. I didn't see the sun for almost uh, three uh, months uh, continuously. Um, that's a terrible thing to have happened to anybody, whatever the reasons. How, how did you feel about what had been done to you by the Israelis? Before that happened, this is what I was expecting from uh, my enemies. Uh, simply, I've seen Israeli soldiers uh, shooting uh, at uh, my people, at uh, myself, and uh, I was uh, witnessing uh, lots of violence and lots of bloodshed. I was living next to a cemetery, and I, was, uh, I wasn't expecting something uh, nicer uh, uh, from uh, uh, the Israelis, and this provoked hate in my heart, and uh, I wanted to take revenge uh, from uh, the Israeli Shembet. And yet, yet, despite all that suffering to yourself and to your people, as you've just said, you decided, Musab Hassan Yusuf, to basically switch sides and start spying for the Israelis. What made you do that? First of all, when I decided to work for the Israelis after they uh, put an offer on the table, uh, nothing would convince me to work uh, for my enemies uh, against uh, my people at that time. I decided to work for the Israeli Shembet to fool them, to infiltrate the Shembet, and uh, work uh, for the agendas of uh, Hamas. But uh, after uh, that, when I was transferred to prison, I was witnessing Hamas torturing its own people this time. And other Palestinian factions uh, persecuting each other. So I start wondering, who is really my enemy? What's the difference between Hamas torture and Israeli torture? Torture is torture. Torturing a human being is torturing a human being. It doesn't matter. It's not, uh, 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 there is no difference if Israel making uh, the uh, torture or persecution or Hamas uh, doing it. So you decided to turn against those people who you saw torturing other people, and yet you decided to serve the agenda of those very people who had tortured and beaten you. I mean, that sounds quite uh, amazing to most people, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's a long story of transformation. This didn't happen over one night. We're talking about six years of experience. I hated the Israelis. Then I hated the Hamas people who tortured the, their own people. And I was full of hate. But during this experience, especially when I met with the Shem Beit later on, I figured out that all those people were tortured in prison on the hands of Hamas. They were innocent people, tortured for the accusation of uh, having a relationship with the Israeli Shembet, and they didn't have. But Musab Hassan now, Yusuf, you're, you're not an ordinary... Many facts. Okay, but you're not an ordinary Palestinian, are you? You come from one of the most distinguished families in Ramallah on the West Bank. You're son of the highly respected Sheikh Hassan Yusuf, one of the seven founders of Hamas. You are the eldest of yes. eight children. You were seen as the son and heir, groomed to carry on this great family tradition of great Islamic learning. You are not an ordinary Palestinian. Yes, I am not, and this is uh, a big lesson for everybody to learn from this experience. There is something going on different than what people see on the news. There is lots of corruption, and there is lots of corruption on both sides. I'm not saying that I worked for the Israeli agendas. We worked together. I was in a situation that I didn't want anybody to die anymore. I wasn't working for Israel at that moment. I was working for my principles to stop the killing, to stop the madness.